Hi, my name is Jay Chikeze. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Narabox. You're watching On The Money. Okay, hi, my name is Jay Chikeze. Um, I'm the co-founder and uh, CEO of Jog Technologies, um, a technology company that owns uh, the product Narabox. The payment industry in Nigeria is, uh, I, I like to call it the, the crude oil in the next five years. So I think, I think uh, there's a lot of opportunity uh, potentially in the next five years. Um, a lot of companies are, are trying to get in that space because everybody be, begin to see the potential of uh, the fintech industry and technology has technology has grown uh, significantly especially in Africa and Nigeria and it only makes sense to introduce that to the financial sector uh, so I'd see it as um, the fintech space we're trying to solve a problem which is which has always been payment. Narabox is a social digital wallet that allows its users make payments uh, for services. So whether it's um, by airtime, um, make bill payments, or it's by cinema tickets or event tickets or make in-store payments. Uh, so we, we found that uh, there have been challenges in, in payments for different services. And uh, what we decided on doing is provide this application or this system where uh, you can make seamless payments for whatever it is. So whether it's your airtime, whether it's a bill payment, um, Narabox has been able to um, integrate with the major billers um, in the country. And you are able to just make payments from your wallet directly to these billers. And then also save save your your payment where Narabox automatically uh, repeats payments for you uh, whether it's weekly whether it's monthly uh, so what we provide is convenience and seamless payment um, for the cinema tickets we find that before we go into this we realize that in the cinema space there are always queues during um, blockbuster movies uh, release of blockbuster movies and Narabox, we thought about at Narabox, we thought about it and how we're going to reduce these queues. Uh, firstly, we noticed that the major issue was that a lot of people don't know what they want to see, so they go to the cinema. They had to pick up um, a pamphlet at the cinema to discover what movie is showing at what time. And uh, we decided that we could create, infuse this in the application where you can actually see what movie is on, uh, know what time it is and then make payments. You can actually make payments or buy cinema tickets for someone who is in a bomb while you are here in Lagos. Um, so really there's, we've created um, an atmosphere for the cinemas where uh, there's really no excuse. So someone who is in Lagos is actually buying a cinema ticket for somebody who is in Oweri. Um, so that connectivity and the fact that you go to the cinema and all you do is just show up with your digital ticket and then you you click on either the self-service kiosk or one of the cinema um, personnel brings out our devices and they just scan your digital ticket and you're working with your with your ticket. Um, the same um, in the same in that same um, light, we also introduce that for the events as well. Um, there are a lot of lapses in the event space, especially with tickets. So you'd have to you see you find that promoters. Um, have to look for different outlets, fiscal outlets, whether it's at Itri or it's um, the venue itself, or they have to get, um, you have to buy your ticket online and then have it delivered to you. So there's the issue of logistics, and then there's the issue of sharing that um, ticket with whatever fiscal venue you have to um, use. So we decided to also infuse that in the, our application where you can buy your event ticket, get a digital ticket, get to the venue, scan your digital ticket, and then that, and then you walk in. When we were about to launch, a lot of people were saying how 
it was going to be hard to penetrate in the market. And I think how we went in was, apart from the fact that we, we tried to partner with a lot of other companies who saw what we were doing and uh, wanted to help in one way or the other, our strategy was actually going after lifestyle. So um, in the cinema space, we, we tried to um, capture that space and providing um, a service where you have no choice but to understand that this is actually quality service. So our idea is if we get the movie lovers, the movie lovers, when they use Nyabox to buy cinema tickets, they would eventually see that you can actually pay your LCC toll on Nyabox. You can actually see you can pay your DSTV on Nyabox. You see that you can pay your GoTV on Nyabox. You can actually buy airtime on Nyabox. And then um, we, we also look at it that instead of taking from our users, we want to give back. So, for instance, whenever you spend on Nyabox, you get money back. So, based on that, referrals and word of mouth and then all our marketing, a lot of people have been able to see that, number one, it's a beautiful, amazing app. Number two, it's seamless when you use it. Three, Nyabox gives back. So... You buy airtime on Nyabox, you get money back. You pay your bills on Nyabox, you get money back. Uh, you buy cinema tickets on Nyabox, you get money back. Uh, you go to a store and you pay with Nyabox, you get money back. Uh, what's there not to love? So, I mean, um, that kind of thing sells itself. And people are, are beginning to see. And then also when it comes to the event space, what we try to do is whatever feature we're we're going into whatever space we're going into. Um, first of all, it's an ecosystem we're trying to build. So we're trying to provide um, we're, we're trying to provide enough services on the wallet where our users don't have any reason to pay or to use cash. Um, so we we're, we're going to more or less go into every sector. And so when we go into every sector, we try to be the best at it. So we don't want to give our users any excuse that you go into the event space, for instance, Nyabox is number three or number four. We have to be number one. If we go into the cinema space, we have to be number one. We have to um, tie up with the best um, people in the business, um, the best cinemas in the business. When we go into events, we have to partner with the best events in the business. Um, and so that's, that's how we've been able to let our users know that um, we actually provide top-notch service. Uh, growing up, I was honestly, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, I, I always knew that I was going to be great at anything I wanted to do. And so I first, I first went into the music business and I think I was great at it. And then I, I left that and went into music distribution business, so digital distribution. And I think I was great at it as well. And then now, we dis well, my partner and I saw, saw a problem. And for me, I think when there's a problem, there's, the only thing I see is a solution. So that's why I, I, also, I also pride myself as someone who is a problem solver so basically i saw this as an opportunity to you know to solve a problem and um, that's why we did nyabox and i think we're great at it as well um, in a couple of years i think nyabox as a brand is going to be ridiculously huge um, looking at taking this to um, different African countries and probably even the rest of the world. I, I laugh with my partner sometimes when I say uh, we'll probably become that first African brand that is recognized globally and used globally. Um, that's, that's the vision and that's where I see this brand get to. Yeah, hi, my name is Jay Chikeze. I'm the co-founder and COO of Narabox.